going! Keep going! <laughs> I can make them do what I want. <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody, from scenic New York. Now's the time of year where leaves start to fall on the homeless people. <laughs> And along with the smells of skunk weed and rotting drug addicts, the sidewalks have added seasonably appropriate pumpkin spice urine. Oh my God. <laughs> Autumn is in the air. In a few weeks, electric car fires will keep people warm. <laughs> but as a new election approaches, that must mean it's hunting season. Forget crime, forget treason. Accusations fly. Smear a name, it's so easy. When you're the left cell, I am compromised. But Bubba is a babe, call me. And Christy knows I do. It's the time <laughs> of the season for hunting. Pretty good, Gene. Awesome. But, you know, we're not talking about hunting for deer or expired health and beauty products at Dollar General. <laughs> no, it's political dissident season. You know, those awful people who hold views that make so-called tolerant media elites shriek like you told them their kid's going to a trade school. A gentle, <laughs> a gentle chuckle from the audience. <laughs> it's now any non-liberal in the public eye. The season opened with a direct shot at two women. Lauren Boebert and Christy Nome, two major Republican gilfs. <laughs> What's that? I'm glad you asked. Gilfs. Grannies I'd love to friend. What did you think it stood for? <laughs> you people are dirtier than Hunter Biden's bed sheets. <laughs> Yeah, disgusting. Now, these two have got to be the hottest grannies since that minx Estelle Getty. <laughs> Man, was she wild. I'll never forget that weekend in Reno. <laughs> Bingo, slot machines, intercourse. <laughs> Sorry. But think about the contrast between Republican grannies and liberal ones. On the right, you got Noam and Boebert, who are hot as balls. <laughs> And more fun than Joy Behar in blackface juggling donuts on a unicycle. Oh. Over on the left, however, the grannies tend to look more like this. Oh. I don't know about you, but I hate it when my grandmother pees standing up. <laughs> anyway, in Denver last week, guilt number one, Bobert, a sitting U.S. Congresswoman, showed those sitting skills by sitting in the audience of a performance of Beetlejuice. And no, it wasn't about the life and times of Lori Lightfoot. <laughs> but, like Beetlejuice, if you say Bo Burt's name three times, you'll summon some cleavage. <laughs> Apparently, she vaped and talked too much throughout the performance, too much for the management's liking. Wait, you're not supposed to vape and talk in a theater? Hmm, tell that to the audience at a Tyler Perry movie. Oh, racist would say. Bo Bert and her date also got a little touchy feely and were then asked to leave. And suddenly we had a new Zapruder film, especially when he moved his hands back and to the left. <laughs> See, I knew they wouldn't get that, producers. <laughs> I told you they weren't going to get it. <laughs> Last time I ever listen to these people. Anyway, the media act as if it was the worst thing to happen in a theater since the Lincoln assassination, because she showed you you don't need to visit the concession stand to grab some Whoppers. <laughs> now, to me, Bo Burr looks like a lot of fun, even if she should stick to musicals like Beauty and the Breast or The Loin King or <laughs> Fiddler on My Boob. But VIEW alumni Megan McCain tweeted that Bobert is trash, adding what all the liberals were saying, that children might have been nearby and they would have been scarred for life. After all, no one attends musical theater and expects to see a man who's attracted to women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that possibility is true of anywhere you might hook up, right? Not all of us are like Hunter and get Daddy to pay for rooms at the Chateau Marmont. 
Boebert has since apologized. So South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem was next on the hit list. Apparently, the notion that Noem and former Trump something or other Corey Lewandowski are dating is a matter of international significance. After all, South Dakota is a state known for drilling. <laughs> now, even I admit this is an amazing story. It is. Because if true, how Corey Lewandowski managed this one is something an MIT research team should look into. On behalf of all men who appear to resemble a meerkat with a crew cut. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> no offense. But it's weird, considering Obama's letters admitting that he fantasized about men were all but ignored by the press. Or how about how the liberal media treats Hunter? Here's the Cliff Notes version. It's just wrong to go after Hunter. His daddy loves him so much. And he's in recovery, right? And he only hired those hookers to give Joe's Corvette a wax job. <laughs> but these people, they're the pervs. If they were in Epstein's client list, then we'd have it. It is rich coming from a party that wants your son to be prom queen and your daughter king. I'm sorry, you gotta admit, Bobert looks way better in a party dress than this guy. <laughs> the point, all those on the right who communicate well, who might have some influence, are suddenly being targeted. Joe Rogan, Russian agent Tulsi Gabbard, Tucker Carlson, hell, even RFK Jr., just for being a moderate. And the biggest game of all is the great orange buffalo Trump himself. The left brought in its big game hunters using seasoned prosecutors to try to bag him. I do wonder about jail time. I bet he doesn't even think about it. I don't even think about it. I'm built a little differently, I guess, because I have had people come up to me and say, how do you do it, sir? How do you do it? Uh, I don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. What a strategy. After all, being unable to think has worked wonders for Democrats. <laughs> Now, for longtime viewers of this show, you may realize that everyone being hunted by the media have one thing in common. Bobert, Noam Trump, they were all guests on Gutfeld, which makes me wonder, is that why some people won't come on the show? Hell, even Carrot Top turns us down constantly. <laughs> Carrot Top! So have Stallone, Schwarzenegger, and Eastwood, too, for real. Even a tough guy like John Wayne won't do our show. The least you could do is return our calls. <laughs> but all of this is worth asking one thing. Will this strategy of targeting actually work? Well, who knows? But you can bet if my ratings get any higher, they'll say I killed Mother Teresa. <laughs> all right, pick it up a notch. Let's welcome tonight's guest. No one can write sitcoms like him because they're on strike. TV writer and producer Rob Law. <laughs> Her mouth shuts down twice a day because of overheating. Host of the True <laughs> Fox True Crime podcast, Emily Campagna. <laughs> he teaches creative writing, so maybe he can save tonight's show. Comedian and author of That Joke Isn't Funny Anymore, Lou Perez. <laughs> and finally, she's never been used as a before model. New York Times bestselling author and Fox News contributor, Cat <laughs> You know what I love about you, Rob Long? Don't stop, right there. <laughs> <laughs> you always look like you're a guest star on uh, The Love Boat, right? You're, you're yeah, like, I walk up to Captain Stu Bing and, he, yes. and, he, and he's telling them who, he, who I am. You yeah. play a recently widowed <laughs> yeah. mystery author and you end up hooking up with a widower, Florence Henderson. Right. Yes. And but it turns out I'm an international jewel thief. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And Ted Lang who plays the bartender, wrestles you to the ground. Oh, wow. That, yeah. That's another movie, actually. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 we were talking about this in the green room. Why is it that Republican grannies are hotter <laughs> than liberal <laughs> left-wing grannies? We were talking about this at length. Uh, it's, it's a trend that I've noticed. Like, all Republican conservative women are just hotter when they're older. Is it because they were hotter when they were younger? I, I don't I don't know how to answer this question and not be canceled instantly. <laughs> uh, except I have to say I was surprised that Bobert was a grandmother. She looks really great for a grandmother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's I, only twenty five. <laughs> okay, th that's another problem. <laughs> that's an additional concern to bring up. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure I know why that is. I think that probably uh, 
I think there are, for a lot of Republican women, their, uh, their activity in politics came late in their life. Right. They actually had a career. They did other stuff. Mm. They kind of come to it kind of as, you know, Lauren Boeber was sort of a citizen activist. I mean, I'm not necessarily a fan politically of these people, but they, they came from something from the real world. And I think in the real world, you kind of like try to look your best. You know, that's a really, that's a really good point. I'm Thank surprised you. Yeah. that you came up with it. Because <laughs> normally you don't. Yeah. Usually your first answer kind of meanders a little bit. Mm -hmm. Do you think that she's getting a bad, Bo Burt's getting a bad break for what happened in that theater? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I think, I mean, First of all, it was kind of, look, I feel like if you're the kind of person that wants to go to the theater and vape and kind of get frisky with your date, it's probably best not to ever talk about sort of who's moral and who should go to church yeah. and who shouldn't. It's, sort of, it's not- Who said, yeah, what man said that? That one, yeah. right there. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, it's just this guy. best not to bring it up and you don't have to bring it up. These are not necessary things for, for American policy. You could be a conservative and not necessarily have to tell people that you go to church more. I think you're wrong. And I'll tell you why. Every place that you hook up, there's a potential for children around. That is your kink, not <laughs> anybody else's. <laughs> Emily, uh, any theories on yeah, the granny you, hotness? It goes to you now that it gets real. Yes. <laughs> any theories on granny hotness? Or would you like to address the Bo Burt situation or the Christy Gnome situation? What does Corey Lewandowski have? And don't use your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know about that part. Yeah. But I, I, I do think, um, you know, I see truths in both. So I absolutely see what is clearly a kill the beast occurring from the left, right? Um, however, you can argue that, you know, the point about public figures is that even if she's acting in her private capacity, the whole point is you are never off. You are always representing who you are working for when you have a job like that. And when you do anything in a public place, we all have to know now that, of course, it's being filmed. That's the whole point. So I thought her apologies were very well worded. It's unfortunate that she had to walk back some of her initial denials. Um, I think that her constituency and her followers are very loyal for her. Mm -hmm. But I see the mistake, frankly, as a rookie mistake. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point. Again, we all know that you're always being filmed in public places. And if you want to rope like and get filmed. hot and steam, oh, well, that's a, that's also a like felony. To watch. That's you know, uh, <laughs> another felony. Her boyfriend <laughs> is a Democrat who owns a gay bar. Yeah. So, I mean, clearly she's quite tolerant, Lou. You know what? No, this wouldn't have been an issue if they were drag queens in front of a classroom. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I have two kids, a two-year-old and a three-year-old, and so anytime my wife and I are getting it on, there are always <laughs> kids somewhere nearby <laughs> waiting to ruin the moment for us. So it's like, you, you know, you think you're in a safe place, yeah. you have Beetlejuice up there, that incredible <laughs> cinematic turned theatrical thing, and then the lights are down, and then, uh, yeah, and you know, quite frankly, look, I'm, I'm a gentleman, mm -hmm. and I think that the man should have done all the apologizing because he was doing all of the work. <laughs> yes. As we could see <laughs> in that. Yeah. Do, don't you think? Okay, here's a theory. Do you think that there are a lot of people that were just, they don't like seeing people who can't keep their hands off each other because it oh, doesn't oh, exist? Oh, oh. PDAing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, because they're, they're in a relationship yeah. that's been in their third decade, and they're like, get that out of my face and it's like it's fresh 100 percent. yeah yes I, that's why oh i cannot God. watch like r-rated films mm -hmm. i don't know lou you're just gonna let me die here aren't you just gonna, just gonna let me die <laughs> i'm wondering like are we being filmed right now because yeah. <laughs> my fed my fetish is watching him die <laughs> we're getting that right now Wow, right that's terrible. great. There we yeah. go. <laughs> you guys get every night. Yeah, every night's a big night for you. Yeah. Um, I would just, because uh, you're new here, just keep your kids away from Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you are awful, strange man from the love boat. All right, Kat. <laughs> Kat, you are, uh, you are, again, we're trying to point out the hypocrisy, but it are, what's so hypocritical about what Bober did? She was having a little fun in the no, theater. I you made out in theaters. Yeah, but I don't, here's the thing, of course. I mean, <laughs> like, I went to high school. Um, so I think that I don't care what anybody does in their personal life, but Lauren Boebert does care what other people do in their personal life, so. But the personal life is in so, public education. That's let, not let a me, personal Can thing. I talk? No, yeah, let nope, me know. nope, 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 of course. Okay, thank you so I'm much. I'm engaging in conversation. Okay. 
So uh, and a lot of people have pointed out the hypocrisy. Uh, she's constantly going on and on about how drag queens being around children is sexualizing them and grooming them when she's doing foreplay in the theater where there could be kids around. And I agree with that. I also think there's another way to look at it, mm -hmm. which is if you watch this video, it totally makes sense why she thinks all of these things are so sexual, because look how sexual she finds Beetlejuice the musical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are they making? Uh, have, are they going to run out of movies for musicals? I mean, no. I mean, when you're when you're you're really scraping the bottle of the bottom of the barrel if you're doing Beetlejuice. She seems like she loved it. Yeah, <laughs> they got to do Texas Chainsaw Massacre the musical. I, that's probably happening right now. By the Live way. The face. <laughs> Lay the face. All right. I, I think go. the reason that you're nervous about this is because you're nervous about this, but I can put your, just, just set your yep. mind at ease. Just remember, you are in no danger of this happening as you have no discernible genitalia. <laughs> oh. Unnecessary, really. <laughs> Unnecessary. Truth bombs. Nobody likes the truth bomb. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.